Well, good morning. It's John Kazar with you for 1027-1035 WICY. And now inside the community we go here on a Wednesday morning, it is Dr. Todd Whitman back with us uh, from Alice Medical Center. And Todd, you used to be almost every week. Now you're in a rotation with other people. And it's just great to have so many different members of Alice High talking with us. Oh, we so much appreciate your willingness to let us uh, be on the show and get our message out, John. Yeah, talking with us, but really it's for all of our great listeners who are, are very involved in the community as well. Flu season and getting your annual flu vaccine is something that's a hot topic right now. It really is. We've been putting a significant amount of effort into trying to figure out how we'll navigate cold and flu season uh, with COVID in the background. Uh, as you're well aware, many of the symptoms are similar, and so trying to differentiate between the two can be a real challenge. Uh, and we wanted to get our message out to the community about ways that they might be able to help. Sure, as a challenge. Now, can we actually tell the difference between COVID and the flu? That's a great question. We There are not many distinguishing factors clinically between the two, uh, other than loss of taste and smell, which goes along with COVID. Uh, the symptoms in many ways can be identical. So it's really going to come down to testing, John, and making sure that when people are symptomatic, they're in contact with their provider. We get them tested and determine which of the two they have. Yeah, you know, we're getting a flu, uh, excuse me, flu, flu vaccine, uh, make it easier to tell which virus I have. It, you know, John, that's a, another good question. It may help us in a, in a way when your provider sees you, if they know you've had the flu vaccine, it's less likely that you'll have the flu and therefore perhaps a little more likely those symptoms could be related to COVID. But as you know, the flu vaccine, unfortunately, is not 100 percent effective. So we're still going to fall back on testing uh, unless uh, there are you know, exposures or other things that really push us to think that you have one or the other. Right. We work with process of elimination. But again, if nothing's definitive, we're not going to start making bold statements and, and stuff like that. So I totally exactly. get that. We're good. We're going to count on uh, testing to try and distinguish so that we make sure we, you know, contact trace and do all the things that we need to do if somebody has COVID uh, to make sure that we are limiting spread in the community as much as possible. That's right. And you keep using those two words, make sure, because that's what we have to do here, Todd. And, and when should, for example, I see my doctor if I have symptoms? So that's a great question. You know, I think the first step for anybody who has symptoms, unless it's an absolute emergency and you need to go to the emergency room, first step should be to call the primary care provider, check in, let them know what's going on, and they'll guide you as to what the next most appropriate steps are. Uh, but, you know, it's absolutely essential to be in contact with your provider if you have fever, chills, shortness of breath, all the symptoms that we've heard about uh, for so long. Beautiful. It is Dr. Todd Whitman with us from Alice Hyde Medical Center. And Todd, anything else you want to add before we get back to what we're doing? No, you know, John, the only uh, thing that I would add in addition is that the methods that we've been using to prevent the spread of COVID are the same things we should do for influenza. So, you know, together, it's going to make it difficult for the healthcare system to be able to sort of manage uh, COVID versus flu. But if you wear your mask, uh, practice social distancing, wash your hands, stay at home with your sick, when you're sick, excuse me, and call your doctor, then you're doing all the right things. All right. Awesome. Well, Todd, thanks again. And we'll be chatting with you definitely in a few weeks for sure, at least. Okay. Sounds good. You have a good day, John. You as well. It is Dr. Todd Whitman with us from Alice Hyde. We do updates out of Alice Hyde every single Wednesday right around this time at 940. 1027-1035 WICY is inside the community.